Okay, hi guys. I'm uh, part of a local EAA chapter, and um, last year we did a remote control model build, um, the um, electric cadet, 70-inch uh, wingspan, and we built one. Three high school boys um, built one airplane, and then were able to fly it. Um, this year we're thinking of doing a, a little bit different program where each of the kid build, kids build their own um, airplane and then they're able to keep it. Um, there'll be a cost to that for the kids, but um, I think they'll appreciate owning their own airplane after at the end. So the model we selected is this uh, Sunbird version 2 um, balsa wood, laser cut uh, balsa wood kit, and it's a motorized glider. Um, with ailerons, elevator, rudder, and throttle. So um, I got the, the kit here and you can buy the kit in different ways. You can buy it with uh, just the kit itself or you can buy it with folding, just folding prop in the kit or there are different ways of buying it. I bought the one with that includes everything that goes in the plane except for the um, radio, re radio and receiver and battery pack. So it has the servos, the ESC, the motor, folding prop, has even has the covering material with two different colors of red and blue colors of covering material. Okay, let's get started building this uh, Sunbird version 2 glider. Um, so I've got a sheet of glass on my table and I've laid out wax paper, taped it down in the corners, and that's what I'll use to build the fuselage sides on. Later we'll put foam down and um, so we can pin to the wing, but for the fuselage sides we can just use tape and weight and um, that should work for the fuselage sides, keep them flat. So I'm opening a, a brand new razor blade and I'm going to use that to cut these parts out of the, out of the main sheet. Um, also if there are parts that you aren't really sure what, what they're where they go or what they're for and you're cutting them out of the balsa sheet you can take a piece of masking tape and tape on the part and then write the the number of the part number of that part um, right on the masking tape that way you can peel off the tape and you don't have numbers um, showing through covering and things like that later on but it still identifies the part right now these parts are identified on the sheet with uh, different uh, part numbers and um, but when, once you cut them out those part numbers aren't there anymore so they're not on the part itself usually. Um, so we're starting with a fuselage and all the fuselage parts start with an F for fuselage and if you see parts that are W those are wing parts so um, that'll kind of help you identify some of these parts. So we're just going through and cutting the little part that keeps it still in the in this uh, sheet and here's a, a part F10, it has it right on the part so so we don't have to mark the part number since it's already on the main part. These such size we know are F1 and F2 so I'm not marking those parts either. Remember that when you're building um, two sides to Make sure you build it so that you don't build two left sides and two right or two right sides. You have to build a left and a right. Okay, so that's labeled F10. Here are two parts uh, labeled F13. So I'm going to write the put F13 on a piece of masking tape and tape it to these parts. Um, the other thing you could do is you could leave parts in that you're not sure where they go and then it still has the label. Um, you can still see the label. So either way works fine. So these all these parts are laser cut on a laser laser cutter. Right here these are F13, so I'm just going to take a piece of masking tape and I need to get a pen and a pencil. 
if you write on the right on the balsa wood with pen, it'll probably show through the covering. I found a pencil here, so that this was. Uh, what did I say these were F? Came from there, so F thirteen. Yeah. So there we go, F thirteen. So the single edge razor blades are, are nice and sharp and fit right into these laser cut areas. You could also use an X-Acto knife, but I think the X-Acto knives are a little bit thicker. So. These are, these are W25, it looks like. Must be part of the wing then. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out, label them, and then I'll put them aside for when we build the wing. Now, these scrap pieces, you'll want to hang on to those for a while because. There may be places where you need some of the scrap pieces, um, and just in case you have there's a piece that you miss, then you can go back and look for it on the scrap pieces. And sometimes you forget to cut it out, or something happens. So, so until you're done with the model, it's kind of good to hang on to those. So these are W25 for the wing. So it's the other. Other wing part. W26 here. That. Also go through and sand the edges of some of these parts to sand those little nubs off. But right now we're just cutting them out of the out of the sheet. That's an F3, so Some of these parts don't necessarily have to be labeled like this canopy cover side. We know that we know where it goes and what it is, so we really don't have to label that. Now we have a wing rib. This is W3.
Okay. Got one more sheet here. Laser and make it all the way through on this piece here. Sand that off a little. So we got W26 here. So W3. Nope, W3. Okay, so that takes care of cutting out the parts or the fuse. Oh, I guess I have some plywood pieces that are the formers, fuselage formers, so I should probably cut those out too. 